Hello guys! In this video, I will show how to use the chain rule in finding the derivative of a function. The chain rule is a fundamental concept in calculus used to differentiate composite functions. Given y equals f of g of x and let u equals g of x, the inner function, then according to the chain rule, the derivative of y with respect to x the derivative of the original function is equal to the derivative of y with respect to u times the derivative of u with respect to x. Note that y here is the outer function and u is the inner function. So this simply means we need to differentiate the outer function with respect to u and then multiply it with the derivative of the inner function. Example number 1, we have y is equal to 2x plus 1 raised to 10. First step is to let u be equal to the inner function. The inner function here is 2x plus 1. Now, if 2x plus 1 is equal to u, then we can write the original function y as u raised to 10. Then next is to find dy over du. So we need to differentiate the function y with respect to u. So using the power rule, the derivative of u raised to 10 is 10u raised to 9. Bring down 10 as a coefficient, copy the base, and subtract 1 from the exponent. And then next is to find du over dx. So we need to differentiate u with respect to x. So that's the first equation. So the derivative of 2x is 2, and the derivative of 1 is 0. So now let's follow the formula for finding the derivative of y with respect to x. So this is equal to dy over du, so which is 10u raised to 9. But u is equal to 2x plus 1. So we can uh, bring back 2x plus 1 as the base of this function. So substitute, so we have 2x plus 1 raised to 9. And then multiply it by du over dx. du over dx is 2. So multiply this by 2. Then simplify. So we have 10 times 2 is 20. Then copy 2x plus 1 raised to 9. So this is the final answer. For example, number 2, we have y is equal to 5x squared plus 2 cubed. So we will let u equals the inner function 5x squared plus 2. Then, if 5x squared plus 2 is u, we can write y as u cubed. Because we let the whole base as u. So we have u cubed. Then get the derivative of the two equations, derivative of this one and derivative of u. So derivative of u cubed using the power rule again is u, 3u squared. And the derivative of u with respect to x is equal to derivative of 5x squared is 10x. And derivative of 2 is 0. Now, dy over dx, the derivative of y with respect to x, is equal to dy over du, so which is this one. But we will substitute the equivalent of u, which is 5x squared plus 2. And then we have squared. And then multiply it by du over dx, so which is 10x. Let's simplify. Multiply 3 and 10x. 
So, the final answer is 30x, then times 5x squared plus 2 squared. So, this is the final answer. Example number 3, y equals square root of x plus 1. Again, the first step is we will let u equals the inner function x plus 1. So now, if this is u, we can write y as square root of u. Next is to get the derivative of y with respect to u, which means the derivative of this equation. Then, followed by the uh, derivative of u with respect to x, which means the derivative of this equation, the first equation. So let's write it. So we have dy over du is equal to, so now we have square root of u, so in power form, that is equivalent to u raised to 1 half, and its derivative is, using the power rule, bring down 1 half as a coefficient, copy the base, and minus 1 from the exponent. So 1 half minus 1 is negative 1 half, and that's it. Then next is to get du over dx. So du over dx. So the derivative of u with respect to x is, derivative of x is 1. So 1, derivative of 1 is 0. So we have 1. Next is to write dy over dx, the equivalent derivative with respect to x. So we have 1 half. Uh, u raised to negative 1 half, but u is equal to x plus 1. So we can replace u with x plus 1 in this step. So we have negative 1 half. Then times du over dx, so which is equal to 1. So now this is equal to, since we have a negative exponent, we will write x plus 1 in the denominator to make the exponent positive. So that's 1 over 2 then times x plus 1 raised to 1 half. Last step is to write uh, the equivalent radical of x plus 1 raised to 1 half. So that's 1 over 2 square root of x plus 1. So this is the final answer. For example number 2, we have y is equal to 1 over x plus 2 raised to 5. So again, first step is we will let u be equal to the inner function. So that's x plus 2. So now, if x plus 2 is u, we can write the original function as 1 over u raised to 5. So, take note that 1 over u raised to 5 is equal to u raised to negative 5. Be uh, we need to write this in this form, so we could use the power rule. Next find dy over du so the derivative of this equation so that's negative 5 u raised to negative 6 using the power rule so we bring down the coefficient i mean the exponent as a coefficient then subtract 1 from negative 5 negative 5 minus 1 is negative 6 the next is to find du over dx so this is equal to the derivative of x plus 2 so derivative of x is 1 derivative of 2 is 0 now dy over dx is equal to the product of the two derivatives so that's negative 5 but in this step we will substitute the original value of u which is x plus 2 then let's copy the exponent negative 6 and multiply it by the 
derivative of u with respect to x. So that's one. Then let's simplify. Uh, since we have a negative exponent, we will write this in the denominator to make the exponent positive. So this is the final answer. You may try getting the derivative of these two functions and share it in the comment section. Thank you.